Why do I breed toy poodles? Because toy poodles are life. Well, my life. I have been a dog groomer since 1988, and most of the poodles that I groomed, although wonderful and sweet personality, great dogs, they were not the quality poodle that I wanted to see. And I thought, well, you know, I can do this. If I have enough time and enough research, this is something I want to do. And I started researching it a long time before I became a groomer because I've always loved poodles, had them all my life. I always thought in the back of my mind, someday I would love to breed poodles, but I figured I'd never do it because I thought I'll never be able to part with the puppies. I'm going to end up the crazy old lady instead of cats. I'm going to have 500 poodles. Nobody's ever going to want to marry me. I'm just going to be the crazy poodle lady. Someday I'm going to pass away and my dogs are all going to eat me. So I never thought I would really get to do it. But it turns out through a long line of um, the decisions and, and ways that my life has gone, I ended up being a dog groomer. I saw more and more of what I did not want to see in poodle breeding. A lot of long body, short legs, um, a lot of dogs with really bad uh, knee problems, really bad hip problems, really bad eyes, um, actually not hips so much, but eyes and knees, elbows, uh, bad coats, bad conformation, and I thought I can do this and I can do it better, but I don't want to be a breeder and have a kennel. I just want to have my babies, my kids, my dogs, who are also breeding dogs. So I waited until my human kids were adults and on their own, and I got the very best quality poodles I could get from various different places. I've got poodles from New York State. I have poodles from, let's see, I got New York, I got Louisiana, I got um, one from Canada who originally was born in Russia. I've imported two from Russia. My dogs come from all over and I try to get the best dogs with the best pedigrees that I could get. They're my kids first and foremost. My human children will tell you that my poodle children get away with things they wouldn't have dreamed trying and that my poodle children are rotten, spoiled little things. But that's how I live my life, that's my babies, that's what I wanted to do in my 50s, so that's what I'm doing, and I'm doing it the best I can, and I'm doing it different than most people. My 10 dogs, yeah, I have 10 poodles, sleep in my bed with me, not all the time. There's a kennel on the floor, and sometimes if my back is hurting, I put five on the floor and five on the bed, or seven on the floor and three on the bed, don't make me do math. Sometimes they're all in the bed, sometimes they're all on the floor. It just depends on the time and the day and how I'm feeling. Um, more often than not, they're mostly in the bed. We do the toothbrushing thing at night and then whoever's mad at me goes to the kennel on the floor and the rest stay in the bed. Like last night, everybody was mad. I don't know if I brushed more or more vigorously or what, but they were all ticked off, ended up on the floor. But anyway, my dogs are my kids. I bought from the very best lines I could buy from and I bought from show lines. And the reason I did that is not because I want to breed show dogs. I'm not breeding show dogs. I am breeding pets. I'm breeding lap dogs. I'm breeding children for people who want fur babies, whatever you want to call them. I'm breeding companions. Breeding the dog that is supposed to cuddle on your lap and hang with you and do what you want to do. Whether that means hiking five miles one day and hanging out on the couch all day the next day whether that means you want to do dog agility or obedience or whatever you want to do, I leave the thumbs on. I don't dock the tails, so confirmation is probably not going to work for you. But uh, if you read the different pages on my website, you'll see why I don't do those things. I did them to start with. I would refuse to do them now. And my MuddyCreekPoodles.com website will tell you why that is. Um, anyway, I just wanted to breed the best quality poodles I could do without having an actual kennel. So my breeding dogs are with me and my rescue dog is with me and my neutered and spayed retired dogs are with me and we all live as one big pack, one big family. Yes, it's chaotic. Yes, it can get loud. Yes, it drives my husband and my children crazy sometimes. No, I don't really care. I do try to keep them under control, but they do kind of run the place and they, they do kind of do as they please and like wherever I'm at, that's where they're at. But I just wanted you to know that Things are, are run a little different here at Muddy Creek. Everybody does their own thing differently. And I wanted to breed my pets. I just got the best quality pets I could actually come up with. And um, I do my best to, to do things the way I think they should be done. And uh, this one wants to go. <laughs> she wants to go to her babies. She had babies two days ago and she's been out visiting Storm. And now she wants to go back to her babies. So I'm gonna cut this video off and the next one will be a little more about my breeding program. And thanks for watching.